he had time to think, do I really have to kill this man? And no, he didn't, but he chose to. Tonight, the head juror in the Michael Draca case speaks exclusively to ABC Action News just days after the jury found Draca guilty of manslaughter. And he claims jurors almost didn't come to an agreement, narrowly escaping a mistrial. Our J.J. Burton spoke exclusively with the head juror who reveals the one factor that had two jurors leaning to not guilty. I spoke to the jury foreman, and his name is Timothy Kleiman, and he says he's the reason that they were in deliberations for six hours. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant in this case. The defendant is guilty of manslaughter as charged. And in that moment, Timothy Kleiman's heart dropped. Inside, I was dying. He says this was close to being a mistrial because he and one other person were leaning towards not guilty until the last few minutes. I still wanted to be absolutely certain beyond a reasonable doubt that the use of deadly force was unjustified. He says he changed his mind after rewatching the video and he got a better understanding of the law. Personally, I do feel that Marquise McLaughlin unnecessarily provoked Mr. Drake by pushing him. I don't think that was necessary. At the same time, using the gun wasn't needed. It started with an argument over a handicapped parking spot and ended with a father of four dead. I think the whole situation is tragic and it's very, very sad. A Drake is sentencing is scheduled for October. His lawyers do plan to appeal the verdict. Reporting in Pinellas County, J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.